Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. beaten and I, the anger that he showed towards my daughter I've never seen from him I would have never sent her there tonight a mother's agony a woman who trusted her young daughter's care to her parents is sharing the gut-wrenching moments she learned her girl was dead allegedly beaten to death by those grandparents this is Fox 32 news at 9 that grieving mother is only telling her story to our Nate Rogers he's live at the medical examiner's office where one of the most heartbreaking chapters of that story played out Nate yeah, absolutely horrible indeed, Dawn and Corey. Kimberly Elwood says that she had um, her father openly agreed and even offered to look after her five-year-old daughter while she was out of state looking for stable housing and a new job. She says that there were no warning signs and she'd never known her father to be an abusive man. Today, just a few hours ago, Kimberly's uh, boyfriend and her child's father literally had to carry her out of the medical examiner's office after she identified her own daughter here. It says happy birthday. It says happy birthday. So whose birthday was it? It was mine. And how old are you now? Five. Clint L. Woods and his wife, Lisa Jones, both charged with murdering their own granddaughter, Jada Moore. I'm all out of tears. I look at him as a monster. I don't even want to carry his last name no more. Court documents say last Friday, L. Woods dialed 911, telling a dispatcher, quote, I was beating my little granddaughter and now she is out of it. The alleged abuse occurred inside the couple's home here along Osage Street in Park Forest. Police found Jada laying on the couch naked with detectives obtaining Jada's shorts and soiled underwear underwear, also a calendar on the refrigerator detailing four dates last month when her undergarments were allegedly soiled. Not nan time has she ever said, Mama, I'm scared. Mama, come get me. He's hitting me. They're beating me. Nothing, nothing like that. With bruises all over her body and marks consistent with a pattern of ongoing abuse, according to the ME, Jada also suffered bleeding on her brain. She died at Comer Children's Hospital. Jada's mother today identifying her body at the morgue. My baby's face was disfigured. But here's what matters most from infancy. Where's your eyes? They are to twirling. Young Jada leaves behind a world of great memories. I loved to dress her up when she was a baby. She was a princess. She was very sweet, always smiling, even in the midst of everything that she endured. Tell me what you're eating. I'm eating some cake. And what kind of cake was it? It was a bloom cake. It was a what kind of cake? A bloom cake. But what was the cake for? It was for me. Now, those grandparents both remain in custody. They're being held without bond due back in court next month. We just received a word that neighbors in that community will be hosting a vigil tomorrow outside of the home from 6.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. There's also a growing GoFundMe account to help the mother with funeral arrangements as she's now looking to transfer her daughter's remains back to Georgia. That is the latest here outside of the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.